is a good prelude to looking at the most mysterious book in the Bible, which is all about the future, and that's where we're all going to spend our lives, what we've got left. The trouble is, most people have a love-hate relationship with the most mysterious book in the Bible. They read a few verses from the first few chapters, they read a few verses from the last few chapters, but nothing will drag them into most of the chapters. So an awareness and a confession that none of us know much is a great start to learning because nobody learns unless they have an awareness of their ignorance. Before we get into the most mysterious book, that book that talks about blood up to the horse's bridles, that book about Armageddon, that book that talks about a giant straddling land and sea, that book of the apocalyptic locusts as big as horses, winged monstrosities, and then demons by the millions. And then famine and earthquake, sun darkened, black as sackcloth of hair, moon becomes as blood, stars fall to the earth. These are some of the symbols in the most mysterious book in the Bible.